Hey guys, what's up beautiful people? I'm Matty D here of In The Black, helping you achieve emotional, financial, and physical well-being, and also your life coach, helping you heal from your uh, child wounds, from your childhood wounds, your parents, as you can see. A little uh, sweaty, just good on running. I wanna shoot this video real, real quick for you on um, really, the topic here is, you know, making more money. How do you make more money? And, I, and, I, and I've talked about this before, um, but in the last video I have, um, let's put the link for below in the uh, whew, description. Is uh, I talked about you know increasing one's value, and I really want to get into some specifics on this because there's to make more money there. I've, as I said before, there's a a million ways to one million dollars. So by choosing the way that you want, that you feel resonates with you, and something that more importantly you and that you enjoy doing, and the love it, you get to enjoy it. Because if you don't like it, it becomes work, labor, of pain, not love, and it just sucks. No matter how much money you're making, you're you're gonna hate it, and now take. That'll wear down with that that'll wear down on your emotional health and physical health. Why well, I think people like hate their jobs or unhealthy or unhappy and depressed because they're not doing what they're doing. That's not healthy. Doing something that you don't like doing repeatedly on a long term basis is not healthy for you. Point blank. Like people in unhealthy relationships. You know, do you think they like their relationship? They don't like it. And they're literally killing themselves. Something to think about. But anyways, some so so how do you Increase your value. How does one increase their value to society, to the world, so that they can make more money? Well, one way that's obvious, a lot of people what we're taught is go back to school, going to school, go go going to get some sort of certification, going to get a high degree. You can do that. It takes take takes a couple of years, you know. And the job market is you know competitive, not always the best way, but it's one way that you can increase your value. Because if you go go to job interview and say, hey, I have a master's and then a, also a PhD, well, you have more value to give and more you know. Than, than someone who hasn't gone to school or someone who is just as bachelor's. But the flip side of that, okay? Really what it comes down to is specialization in something. Um, you can specialize in getting a license in, for me right now, I'm, cur I'm currently studying for my life for my life and health health insurance license, okay? I'm also um, work, we're going through a YouTube certification course because I want to get better with YouTube, okay? Specializing in one or two things because you get paid for specialized knowledge in this world. You know, having a, a master's degree is great, but you know, it's really, it's general knowledge. Now you can specialize in something and make, make more money that way. Um, what I was gonna say was the flip side of this is, yes, there are people who have master's degrees and stuff and they're working shitty jobs. Why is that? Whereas there are people who have never been to college or dropped out who are like millionaires making six figures and you're like, why is that? Best guess is this, when you haven't gone the traditional route and you feel like all your doors are closed, well, you only have a certain amount of options, which means you are literally forced to learn certain skills which put you ahead of the game. Because here's the thing, when it comes to businesses, employers, they favor experience. The experience is what they're looking for. It's how, what's the experience that you have that can best serve them? So if you, that's which is why, you know, with people who've gone to college, but you know, if you have these like high level degrees, they can't get a job because they don't have the experience that the business is looking for. The business is gonna pay you a salary, well guess what? They wanna know what can you do? How can you solve my problems? Something to think about, it's called selling yourself. So they, I'm gonna make this part one because this is gonna be a long topic. So that's what it is they're looking for, experience. So we don't have the experience, it's kind of tough to get a job even though you have, you, even, though, even though you have this degree or degrees and then also this amount of debt you gotta pay back, which is bullshit. Now, on the flip side, when you don't have a degree, you have the experience, you have the skills, you've been out there, you become more valuable, which is why you have people who are millionaires, people who go into real estate investing, you know, which you, which you don't need license for, it's a skill, but you learn that skill because people need housing, people need homes, a lot of people don't know how to, how to, how to make, how to make these transactions between someone moving to house, selling a house. Yes, you can, you, yeah, you can be a realtor, but you don't have to get a, you don't have to be a realtor. You can get your, you can get, you can get your license to be a realtor. That, that's increasing value because people, people, no matter what the economy, people will always need to move. People always need a living, a house, period, end of story. So, um, what else, what else? There's a, lot, there's a lot to this topic I can talk about right now, but main thing is to, you know, increase the value. And this is part one. Part two, I'm going more, go more into other ways on this. So, I hope this helps. Like, comment below, subscribe, please. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Get in the black. Peace.